time is it? 7.30. Who are we playing today? Hashtag M2 and Exxon. Just ready for this first game. Get the free wins. Easy. It's the biggest day ever in Rebel history, mate. I know a funny This is uh, Rebel FC Embedded. Uh, the time is. Jess. Do you want me to give you... Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh. I'm about to go fuck some shit up. That's what we're going to do. It's an autoimmune thing. No, it's a precaution. Where's the safety? Are you ready, mate? Let's go! I'd like him too. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. No way! Right! Like we can sort everything out on the field. Obviously, like Saul's not here today, so it's one of them ones where if we see something needs to be changed, just talk about it together. So if you've got, if you're in central midfield and you know that maybe things are getting a little bit congested, sort it out. If if we're if you're in defence and we've got to play a little bit deeper, sort it out. We've got to be able to recognise things, take responsibility. Yeah. I don't know if any of you played Ashley Kwan or did last year, but I was there. I've seen them play live before. And I've seen them play really shit Sunday League football. I've yeah, seen them yeah. absolutely not like literally they've kicked it long, knocked it down, won the second ball, and they batted Elton 7 1. They absolutely annihilated a team who thought they could play football against them and they couldn't do that. Also, when me and Warren are watching the other week, they play great football. This team we're playing today is a mixture of both, so don't be surprised if they're able to be physical and be skillful. Don't be surprised if all of a sudden they can change their game up. These guys have got a good manager in charge of them, they've got a good squad, they're intelligent guys. So we just have to make sure, make sure that we've got ourselves switched on at all times and we're taking in what's going on around us because that's where we're going to win this game. Just do your job. Just do your job. We're all good enough. Just do your, do your job. job. Do your job. Do your job. Let's go, Trev. Let's go, Trev. Last one. Kick across your body. Right foot to left hand. Hamstring sweep on the way back. Start focusing, boys. Little job. So as Seoul is away today and I've picked up a calf injury, we decided that me and Will will take up coach responsibilities for the day itself. The game's going to be fast today. 30-minute halves. 30-minute games, in fact. 15-minute halves. It's going to be so fast paced. The boys are looking very focused. I've not seen them like this before. In football, it's a massive cliche, but today is a fact. Like Whoever starts quickest will win the games. Simple. Nice pose. To start off, we're going to have K in goals. Then uh, the two centre backs are going to be Will and Reeve. Then at um, left back is going to be uh, Marcus, right back myself. Um, in midfield, we're going to go with two holding. We're going to have Sam and Lionel holding. We're going to have Ali play the 10. Out left, uh, we'll have Eman, Jesse at striker, Ray at right wing. Um, you know, we're used to playing this. And uh, if everyone works well for each other, we're, we're going to win this game. But we need to be 100% on it. Literally, no one taking the pace. First thing I'd say is look at, look at the size, just like the size of them. Yeah. Gonna play and obviously, they around. play in non-league, right? So they're, they're going to be physical, yeah. especially from set pieces. So picking up early, making sure if you see someone spare and you've got a man, don't just leave it and be like, oh, i got my man, don't worry. Like every, you've got to be aware of other things. Yeah, for other people. Shout out. playing football that's the main thing just a cheap goal that's all man just one mistake that's what it takes one mistake Straight in. 
So, Will, what do you think? They're, they're, they're getting us, they're getting us. And like, I think um, if that ball's not, not not on, we've just got to try and get them turning. I know at times, I know at times it's hard and we don't want to do it, but just to kind of get the pressure off our back four. I know it's difficult and the speed of it, can we just relax on the ball? Sometimes, sometimes we're just it's so frantic that we're not really helping each other out. That's everyone. When we're attacking, we've just got to commit like that. I know it's difficult, that last little bit, Jesse's got the ball, then we've got no one really in the box. So we've got to try and burst the gut for him to hit something. They're not better. They're not a better football team. They're, they're just they're working they're, the box. They're working, they're working their 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 That's it. That's, that's, all, that's the, just the, the difference. How are you feeling, Tim? It's sore, mate. It's sore. I ran into the guy, I, feel, I was too quick, yeah, nicked the ball in front of him and his knee just went straight through me. So. But I just hope that it doesn't rule me out for the rest of the day. Thank you very much, start the clock please. I've put my hand straight. Yeah, so I don't know how long it's going to oh, well, well, sort of be. But I'm hoping, I want to play another game today, but I don't know. I'm nowhere near left enough in that. I'm going to quickly talk about this game and then we're going to move on from it because we've got two more games, that's the point today. Up front had a fuck all to, uh, to use, we, we didn't give them anything. Midfield, did we string a single pass together that entire game? Defence, we let in some really poor, sloppy, sloppy goals. We saw the way they played, there was, there was nothing special, they pressed us, what we never even pressed before. That, it was fucking embarrassing, I'm embarrassed by that performance. Hi right, boys, can we start heading over to the stores please? I'm excited, excited to play again, it's been a nice long wait. Not a nice long wait, it's been a long wait. But a good game in between EXO beating them, so I think it's kind of, it's revved us up a little bit, which is good. Um, boys are focused, we've had a bit of food, which I'm a little bit worried about. We've gotten cold again, we need to get warm. F2 next. Yeah. I've gone, I've gone a little bit heavier. Yeah. <laughs> F2 next. Here we go. Uh, one, one, two, two three, three, roll! roll! time after each minute has elapsed the ref will blow play will stop very quickly we've got a list here that's been submitted we'll shout the two names they need to get off the pitch as quick as they can i want all the players to stop where they are and we start with the drop ball where we stop if it's goal scoring opportunity referee's discretion to let it go yes i can just see gray area coming what defines a goal scoring opportunity good goal You just said a goal scoring opportunity. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. I see things before they happen. This is what we call tense. 
Fucking earn it, haven't you? So we have to go again. We pick ourselves up, get our fucking chins up, and go again. Well, well, gonna gonna let's go. One, two, three, four, four. Let's go, boys! Let's get on it! Will! Good wing play. Oh, a lucky jack! Oh, like we're we're playing at a slow pace. Like we've got so much time, but we still need to play quick. Go on, Dale, go on, Dale. How's that, Rory? Well, we've got a win. That's good. And we deserved it. I think that's fair. Uh, we were all over them. Um, it's long overdue. We should have won before before then because we actually outplayed the F2. We're the only team here today that I've seen that played football. Um, there's been a lot of Sunday league like tactics, to be fair. I've been a bit disappointed by people, but I've had to grind it out. There's a lot to learn from today, though, before we go and play at Wembley, that's for sure. Don't realise the physical levels that are going to be required to match hashtag. So hashtag good footballers as well. So if you're going in at seventy percent or eighty percent or even ninety percent fitness against players who are hundred percent, it's a massive, you know, a huge, um, you know, discrepancy that they're going to make up. I think it's just more of shock and awe. I mean, they full press hundred miles an hour and they're like, whoa, hang on. So I mean, and players weren't used to that. How about Sam? Now? What's Sam? Sam's injured. He's got, I don't know, something wrong with his knee now. That was a knee that he um, went over on at against Hashtag in a qualified. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And he came back, rolled the ankle, and then he took a knock. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've got a physio here today. Yeah. I just need your name. Well, you don't remember me. <laughs> Listen, do you know you me? You did it in my number, didn't you, mate? <laughs> you put my number on. Right, okay. Well, what's no, your number? No. Oh, Sam, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Sam, I do, I do about 40 people a day. Yeah, I've yeah. never had any injury before. I, I mean, went out there once and controlled the ball in it. And that's yeah, when I felt the just, pain. So I just... What? After how, long, how many weeks? How many weeks ago was that? 
Yeah. It was, uh, I'm saying, three weeks ago. I did do sprints the day before, like, on, the, on the road, on the concrete, so I'm not sure if I was susceptible to a little injury, but no. now it's like, it feels good, but right, I don't want to be ill. Now it's got to a stage where I'm, well, I've recovered, I feel, but it's mm. more now psychological. Yeah. Like, do I want to go out and just pass the ball? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I think you'll be okay. Sam's one of my best players, I mean, easily. We can only take him from what he's, you know, him not turning up and him not coming to games and stuff like that. We've been two weeks off, you know, and it maybe it's psychological, but still, you know, that's something we don't want to be, you know, in a position where we're, we're relying on it. Boys, just favour, that goal's got to come up, please. Onto the halfway line, volunteers. Terrible. Terrible. So that's the thing, I think there's a little bit of... Um, Lack of understanding about you know what it's going to be like, and that's you know, and then that's what hashtag really proved on that, on that on that day. So you know, they're playing in a good standard league, they're training regularly. So I mean, so yeah. we have to right. really yeah. make sure that we give it all we got. I just want us to go out there and show everyone what we can do. Do you know what I mean? Because I think I know I've watched, been watching hashtag league, right? But you know, no one, no one plays football like we can play when we're on it. Pass to the move and it's going three, it's going to ball move it. Just hope everyone there is on their best so they can say, wow, you know, this is the best footballing team there. You know what I mean? Come on, soccer assist, sort your life out, will ya? That is like literally through your legs. Come on, go on with it. One and two, go, play. Come on, Dill. Dylan, stretch the pitch, Dylan. Dylan, stretch the pitch, son. Dylan, stretch it. You're in the way, Dill. Oh, Dylan. You'll change your pants after that one. Think about Dylan, it's like... All the frustrating things because you know he's he's a he's an he's an orthodox a bit of a maverick. I'm on deal. He's got goals in him, that kid. Put the ball away. I mean, it's a bit of a nightmare for you here. Actually, he doesn't put the ball quick enough a lot, but he does score goals. And that's what, to be honest, that's what keeps him in the team. This game's about attacking and defending. Stay tight, Dylan. You understand? Keep balanced. It should be one man each. Make sure your goal side. Don't let them get behind you. Let's go. Pass it in there. Yes, yeah, set. I'm straight away in here, receiving here. Then we're looking to play. Bang, one, two, bang. In there, then we're done. But straight away. I always found like when you play in the uh, coaching big games, it's just trying to control the emotions, especially from my point of view as well. When I was younger in those big game situations, I've been guilty of getting a bit sucked into it. And players feeding off it as well. You just almost got to try and say, look, it's just almost play it like another game. Let's try and take this, the, uh, the environment out of it. Come on, Eddie! We've just got to steal, we've got to get out quicker. We're all sitting on top of each other. As soon as he wins it, I'll change this one, we've got to go quick. Come on, Dill! Come on! Nice one, Dill! Come on, 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 Dill! So we need energy, alright? That's what we're looking for, energy today, we're 30 minutes. Oh, time to go home. I'm going home, bro. Fuck you. We haven't had 1% of, of possession. And we're supposed to be the team that's going to go out and play one game. I'm defending the entire time. He's telling me to scream, I couldn't even hear him. Right, he's telling me to go, up, he's just screaming up. shit, I don't even know what he's saying. He's you telling me to come up. You, come up for what? I don't want to. Because I don't have energy. You don't have more energy than everyone else out there. You're going to say, I don't have energy. Just, so, you can talk to you too. You don't have to listen. But it's just, like, you need to listen to everybody. I'll go outside. 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 It's going to be nerve wracking for them boys out there. And the 30,000 people. So, a bit unusual, we're training on a Tuesday because um, we've got game Friday, uh, but we're not alone at Rebel Road here. We've got some, uh, some guests here, so we've got hashtag United training behind us, which is quite interesting. Uh, because obviously we're playing them a couple of weeks. So, uh, I mean, it's good also to get to see a little bit what their coach is doing. But yeah, it's all a bit of a strange, sort of surreal bit of experience really, isn't it? You know, training side by side against our nemesis. Look at the enemy over there. Enemy? Enemy, look at 
big and tall and strong and we're like half their height half the time. It's, it's not fun. It's inconvenient, but you got to deal with these things. It's fine. Um, you know, they want to they want to train at Rebel Road. That's fine by us. You know, just make sure it's not on our time again. I didn't want to do too much tactical work in terms of shape and stuff because I didn't want them to see it. So we're just going to basically run the boys a lot, a lot of technical work, but obviously a lot of physical work as well. My anxiety is the injury list. You know, if people can't get here and we can't get a full team out, uh, we're going to be struggling on the day. So personally, I think we need to make some difficult decisions. You didn't have to put so many cones down, you know. Put more down for next half. People got to be honest with us, say, look, I'm not able to come out on the day and put a good performance out, which warrants a Rebel FC performance. And then we can maybe get someone else and they can do that. You're going to see my nasty feet, y'all. Don't worry you about might, that. You should blur it. Blur my feet up. Get you up here. Blur the feet up. So where is that hurting you? So, no, no, not this one. On here, here still, and now here. But that's, I think that's just from doing this too Yeah, yes. that hurts. Ah. That hurts. Yeah. It could be nice, in it? Yeah. It's stop the car phrases. It's just hurting a bit. But we spoke about it. If there was yeah. any pain, Slow uncomfortable down. pain, you need to stop. Yeah. And we're going to do some work into this bit there. Wow, that's tight. And what are you saying? You're getting some... Just some slight pain in the right there as well, right? Right on the hill. about in there? Yeah, yeah so... In, oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's tight, isn't it? Uh, I've been also doing leg extensions, but like really, with a really low weight. Okay, good, good. Um, and yeah, just when I get back, icing and stuff like that, but... Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, that's very tight. I need to loosen this. Break it up, yeah? We've definitely done too much. You've been rushing it. Mm. Trying to get back for Wembley, baby. I know, but you're rushing it too much. Go! You're up! We're playing! Go! One, two, three, four! Deflated. Just a little bit deflated. Just seeing everyone having fun, and there's not long left. So, yeah. But I'll be back! Just saying, it was a lovely guy. One of the best footballers in the team as well. Just, just, body's not with it at the moment. It's a real shame. There's another player we can do with being fit. Two and a half weeks left. You can't just turn up and stay right. You know, you can run every day. You're still not going to get fit in two, two and a half weeks. He's not going to run every day, is he? You can turn up next Wednesday and then go, I'm ready. It's just, well, you haven't trained for, you know, three months. It's a difficult one, isn't it? It's that. From a coach's perspective, you just got to be a bit brutal and say, look, you know, the team, you need to take one for the team and say, look, this is, the team needs, you know, more personnel, so they can come and, you know, help the team out. You know, so, I think that's just a decision we're going to have to make. Right now, think about the pitch. All right, we've got to stretch it, but you've got to move the ball quickly tonight. It's really important that we also go out and finish our last game for Wembley Cup with a win. Okay, let's get our heads on straight away. Remember, the minimum is what? What's the minimum? Work hard. Working hard. All right, run your bollocks off. Big opportunity tonight. Hey you go in there and show us what you've got. We've got quality coming off the bench as well. All right, let's go. Play. Come on, boys, straight away. James A. Squeeze up, Will. Reeve, squeeze up when we can. Tactical genius, he's changed it all around and he's had a major impact. Goal in the first five minutes. One nil though. I said four four, I don't know why. Go 
good start, good couple of goals. Just got to get a bit more composure and play our game a bit, all right? Keep possession. They had a bit more possession than us in that last of that half. Let's try and keep possession. And let's remember we talked about at the beginning of the game. Let's try and get some more possession in their final third. Ken, we got an injury out here, mate. We need you. Yeah, Let's go, Rebel, straight on, let's go, come on! Call up, call up! That's good, that's good, though! That's good! That's good. Come on, no smiles. Yeah, head in game, please. Go, let's go. Come on, come on, Dave. Come on, let's go. Heads up, heads up, heads up, heads up. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, Just quickly, all right? I just thought tonight showed great resilience, all right? The way you came through that game at the end. And I was really impressed, all right? We've got to learn, though, that we fall into the trap of getting stuck in and getting a bit aggro and getting the game gets silly. That plays into the other team's hands, okay? But I was really impressed by the way you responded and you came through at the end there with two goals and we managed to see the game out. Real tough night tonight, real tough conditions, real tight pitch. 2-0 up, then 2-2, so uh, got sucked into a little bit, got a bit messy, got a bit scrappy, but really proud, boys came back 4-2, showed a lot of resilience, showed a lot of composure. Man of the match I'm going to give to uh, Callum, just because he ran all day and that goal at the end really was absolute world class, so well done Callum, great game, uh, bodes well for him. And uh, yeah, but generally a good, good team night, good to get a way, way win. All right, so well done, I'm proud of you. All right, it's an excellent way to go in now to the Wembley Cup, all right? So good job, give yourselves a little clap. Yeah. All right. So we're on our way down to Southampton's training ground uh, for um, our penultimate training session for the Wembley Cup. So I'm going to do a bit with uh, some of the first team coaching staff, Mark Hughes hopefully. Uh, Cal and I are going to have a little chat about um, what we hope to achieve maybe in today and also in the coming in the couple, in a couple of weeks before the game. And then uh, go have a, and, uh, have a couple of training sessions as well, one led by the first team training staff, so it should be really exciting. <laughs> First games against the team that... The favourites, the beat. team that beat us 3-0 in the qualifiers. Right. We high-pressed us once we, we came out and there was a bit of like shock and awe, very direct. If they are a high-pressing side, like a total, we've got to find a way of bypassing their press first of all. So yeah. What can we do that the opposition don't want us to do? I think in, in terms of if somebody's on a high pressure and you're not as comfortable maybe in retaining it in, in tight areas, then... I think the important thing is, okay, instigate the, the press, so you, you play the initial ball, you play out wide to, to, you, to your centre half, so the split edge of the box or wherever you, you tell them to go. You instigate with one pass, and then 
they press, then it might be just a setback ball to the keeper. Yeah, yeah. The, and then you, the, yeah. you take the press out, then you get up, and then you play in a different area of the field. Then you can still continue to play your football from that. We had a situation <coughs> a couple of years ago, Mark, when we played mm -hmm. we were Stoke and we played uh, Liverpool in the mm -hmm. uh, semi final of the Cup. League Cup. Yeah, League Cup. And we played them at home. And he'd, he'd not been there long, but they were a high press inside. They really caught us. We tried to play out, and on the night, we lost 1 0, didn't we? 1 0. But they murdered us, really, because every time we got out, they, they mm -hmm. kept winning balls. And we had a situation there where we went to Anfield. We, we, it was contrary to what we wanted to do. Even though we had Peter Crouch in the side, he didn't play in the first leg, but we almost set up that way. You know, the keeper gets it, you set it in, you know, set it as if you're going to play out, but then we bypassed their press and went a bit longer, mm -hmm. a long ball, but just that 20, 30 yards into areas that our, our back lads knew who was going there, so they almost like went in positions and they spun into those, or they mm -hmm. press into those areas, but then we had the likes of Peter Gold, somebody who's good at retaining in there, and we, yeah. we actually beat them on the night there, and we lost on penalties as it was, but. The unique one about this is it's obviously it's half an hour games, 15 minute yeah. halves. So like one, 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 some one mistake that, is crucial. Really yeah. Yeah. First five, ten minutes of any game, if you've got a di direct opponent, be it you're a winger up against a fullback or a centre forward up against a, um, a centre back, I was a striker, so in the first five, ten minutes of the game, I'd be running that way, see if he liked that, find out what the guy doesn't want to do, yeah. because then you can affect him adversely. I was always over the view when I played was. The, the bigger the game, the, the better I enjoyed it. I think that's going to be the main challenge, isn't it? Mentality yeah. for us and them and dealing with the being the underdog, maybe it's a big occasion, they're the favourites. Be real to yourself, be real to your team, and it's a great opportunity. It's a fantastic stage, because yeah. me, Wembley, in front yeah. of a big crowd, is, there's no place better. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Tom Sturdy, one of our physiotherapists, uh, works with all players from all age groups here. Yeah, so we do them one at a time, or do you want to see them all together? Go on then, let's go. Hip. Knee. Knee. Jump on. Mm -hmm. Just going to test your MCL out a little bit, because I suspect that was the structure. Tell me if you feel anything. No. Hold. Now, jump 180 degrees and face the other way, from that left leg. Go and push off. Nice. Anything on that? No. Well, then off you go. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Are you nervous? No, no, I will be. Nervous yeah. guy. Go enjoy it, bro. Go on, go enjoy it. Right, young man, which one are we, what are we looking right. at? Right, so right now the main one is the ankle, right ankle. Okay. Four weeks ago to the injury, you've done lots of ice and all those sorts of things in between. You ran in a straight line. Ran in a straight line. Only not, yesterday though. Only yesterday for the first time. Yeah. You did some calf raises and some TheraBand. Yeah. That's where we're at, that's the picture. I'm just going to track, sorry. <laughs> Come on. Man. No, honestly, it's, that even hurts. Yeah, that's, that's where the ligament is that you have. Yeah? Yeah. Got it in there? Yeah. Okay. And then if I do that, and then I try and move that, that yeah, he feels more. Yeah, but not like um, not like a like oh my god, you need to like stop now. It's more of yeah. in terms of I can feel it. The ankle looks in a good, relatively good shape. Okay. If I was to see you, like if you didn't paint the picture and weren't in that much pain, I'd probably say for the sake of training with Mark Hughes, strap <laughs> yeah, up and crack yeah. on. But I don't think you're probably in the right frame of mind to kind of do that really, and I would be a bit unethical for me to go ahead and just say crack on straight away because you probably did do quite a significant injury yeah i'm just seeing it four weeks down the line rather than at, at week one yeah you got 10 days oh please right. if there's a god so you're here yeah you'd be here fine and we'd probably full training really because you get six hours treatment a day oh okay. um, <laughs> you know we've got lots of luxuries at our disposal that you just haven't had but what i'll do is I'll absolutely lock this ankle in. Thank yeah. you. Thank All you, right. man. Really appreciate no it. Enjoy. All right, let's get up to the training ground. Seven the seven, guys, if you don't mind. Okay. All right, see you. I want you to show us coaches if you've got them on. This would be good. All right, let's have a look. Let's test a few of them. Needs to be quicker than that. Did you press me though? What did you say his name was? Oh, William. William. Yes. Nice. Really, good guy. Yeah.
really encouraging good. the others as well. Neil, so. Yeah, great communicator. Yeah. Maybe just doesn't stop talking. Really good technically as well on the yeah. ball as well. Yeah. Breaking news, Sky News, Southampton are interested, Callum. You're that right there, that prime age, <laughs> Callum, bro. You're looking sharp, bro. I like, hear you. Saw so you deliver a couple of balls in that. When I've got a group of players, I want to see that. I want to see that enthusiasm. Guys who want to be involved, who want to make things happen in training so that they get better. And I saw that in, in your player there. So that's, that's credit to you. Listen, you've got a big game coming up for Wembley. Who's played there before? Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought nobody was going to say. Yeah, some of you have probably never played there. Some of you have maybe got the games there, maybe. That's probably the closest you get. Listen, you've got a great opportunity. The key when you go to these big occasions, big events, is that you enjoy it and don't let the opportunity pass you by. The key is, is that when you're there, make sure you give everything you've got. They're all cliches, do, do yourself justice, do your family proud. They all apply because if you don't do that, then you'll have regrets. Don't have regrets. It's a big opportunity, make the most of it, guys. Take on board what we try to talk about in terms of making sure you're getting in line, getting off the hook, looking over your shoulder, all those things that Eddie's talked you through. They will apply. You'll need them when you play at Wembley in a couple of weeks' time. But enjoy it. Like I said, it's a great opportunity for you guys. Not a lot of people get the opportunity of playing on the Wembley turf, so don't let it pass you by, yeah? Well done, guys. Well done, guys. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, um, not great, to be honest. It's more the going on this side. And that changed direction, but it needs to be. Well, physio said that it needs to be on it as, as much as possible. So let's do it. Come on. When I'm like now exceeding myself, like actually like going for it, I start to it on my hill. But the physio said there'll be. It's not all the way better yet. So ah, goodness. Uh, no, at least um. My thing is this, is that I couldn't do that last week, so we're getting there. How much reckon we'll be able to do next week, man? Listen, you know I me, mean? I'm a confident guy, bro. I think I can do it. That's to be, we have to kind of have a, we need to put a deadline on this, really. Well, I've been told by the 18th, if I, if I can't sprint, yeah. it's what, no, full team? Sunday. Is it full team? No, yeah. Sunday's the 18th. So, but I can sprint now, well, sprint-ish, no. Sprint and break, they said, tell me. Sprint and break. Can you break? No. You cannot so break just yet. You, you cannot break. You've got a few days to try, and, uh, to try and figure out the break. Yeah. A couple of days, let's do that. We do another one on this one Friday, if you like. Yeah. Let's do right it. The time. Yeah. Come on, Wolves will be back. <laughs> Boys, so we've got Jack Stevens, Danny Ings, Charlie Austin and Nathan Redmond coming over. They're here to answer any questions you've got about Wembley and just in general, so make the most of it, yeah? Alright, if you have a big game coming up and uh, it's particularly you feel like there might be a lot of pressure, is there anything that you guys do yourselves personally to sort of alleviate that? This moment you're going to have is some that you don't want to pass on. You're going to have an opportunity that not many people have, you know. When you go to play at Wembley, you're going to see obviously your family, your friends. You'll be concentrating that much in this moment to not let yourselves down, not let your family and friends down. You, you uh, get up, brush yourself down, get on with it. it. Takes you by surprise probably the first couple of times, and you really notice the, the size of the crowd. You've got to try and try and block all that out, really. Because that's when you start losing focus. Play quick and down, come on, down! Before you're walking out of the tunnel, the flamethrowers are at the front and they start going off and you can feel the heat just beforehand. But once you're actually on the pitch and you're focused on what you need to do and how you're going to play your first touch, you can kind of determine how to get how your game's going to go. I don't think it should be done at all, really. I think it's, it's one of those places you can go and shine. Just need your teammate next to you. Come on, it's all right. Come on, keep going, yeah. keep going, keep going, keep going, and, and something will click for you. Everyone.
you wearing two layers? Yeah, man. Of course you are. Gee. Come on. Come on. Yeah. So we'll go over there, we'll test the ground over there, we'll see how that is. Come on. So have you done any work on it at all over the weekend? Did yeah, like, the distance band and stuff like right, that. So, we we'll just do a couple of sprints up as far as, if we go up as far, just go up as far as the first little set of poles. Turn back to me as far as you can. His, the only thing is, if you leave it till Wednesday and you're not good, yeah. I don't have time to get anyone ready to take that spot. Okay. And it's like, even if you are fit, if like you are able to run on it, you know what's always like with fitness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, won't, you won't see minutes on the pitch. Mm. You're just going to go and sit on the bench. No, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I'll fit this way. Do what you got to do, and I'll fit this way. I'm trying to go as late as I can, but I know. I guess that's because I've got to clear it with the yeah. tournament as well. We might, we might just have to. I understand. No, I'm not. But I'm not here. Like, you know what I mean. You know, you know. I never, I you know, I never want to say this. I don't, I don't. You know, this is again. I'm doing. No way. We got plenty more games. We got plenty more. We got plenty more games. We're good. Come on. We are good. We are good. Yeah, it's just those turns back. Just. Perfect. Then no, exactly. And it's, it's like I said. There's no point me cheating you and trying to take you to Wembley and then having this all just bench you and you don't even get looking. No, I'm. Hey mate, how's it going? Sorry to interrupt your lunch. No, that's cool, sorry. Um, so basically, we've I've just come from doing a fitness test with Wills today. Um, so obviously Wills in the Wembley Cup squad, but he's been suffering with an ankle injury and he yeah. might be back to like full sprinting pace by Sunday, but he's not going to be match fit. So I've spoken to him and yeah. we're going to remove him from the squad and we'd like wow. you to come in and take his place if you're free on Sunday. Wow, of course. Yeah, I'd love to. Of course, thank you. No worries. Yeah, yeah, man, it's a dream. Football dreams. Yeah, fair at Wembley, so yeah. So, we need to pick a squad number for you. So, if you've got a preference, shout out and I'll let you know if you can have it or not. So. say that 14 was taken? No, 14 is free, so we can get you in 14 shirt. Yeah, I've had that. Johan Cruyff. Johan Cruyff. I like it, I like it. Thank you so much. No, thank you, man. Wills has also said, um, obviously, it's a big day for you, so he's going to transfer all the tickets that he's requested. So okay, it's wait. six VIP and then ten general admission that he's wicked. got. So he's he's happy for you to have them. Um, oh, wacky. thank you. No worries, thank him. That was before I even asked. He'd already offered. He's oh, that's so nice. yeah, he's a proper proper top guy about everything. We can speak to you soon, man. Speak to you soon, Cal. Alright, bye. So apparently I think you're going to show us how to take some free kits, give us some advice. Yeah, we can try. Yeah, should we start? Should we get going and then... Who yeah. should go first? Who should go first? Black paper scissors. I go first. <laughs> okay, I'll go first. Yeah, <laughs> If you go like that, um, from 10 free kicks, maybe 8 you go to the wall. Because yeah. it's difficult to, yeah, yeah, get you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! It's a good goalkeeper, huh? <laughs> Put it here. Put the point. Yeah? Yeah. He gives it that extra punch. Yeah. How would your mentality change to get a free kick for the last game? You, you must go in yourself, you know. Yeah. Don't um, be under pressure from the, for your friends, for the opposite side. Concentrate. Mm -hmm. Concentrate and think positive, you know, the ball go in. Have you ever felt it a little bit like World Cup or in a big game? No, you, you are nervous, of course. Yeah. It's normal yeah, yeah. because uh, we are... Um, Human. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. But um, 
if I say I'm not nervous, I'm still nervous now, you yeah. know, yeah. if you go on a pitch. But um, yeah, when the referee says you must be yeah. not ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Oh my oh. god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that is stupid. That is stupid. <laughs> All right, gents, obviously we've got Granite here who's taking his time out of his day to uh, come and answer some questions. If someone is injured or is not ready, you must accept that and you must be ready to help the team. Communication. If the pitch is so big and you don't speak each other, you run a lot, he runs a lot and after you're tired, you know, you must be ready. That's a key in the game from the beginning to the end. Your game is only 30 minutes on Sunday, so you have not a lot of time if you are one nil down. But you keep going and thinking positive because the game change in one minute, two minutes. Every game is for me the same, prepared. I hope you will be ready for Sunday and it's, I think you are ready, yeah? Spencer was upset. Uh, some of the other teams were upset. They want to make changes now too. Obviously, you get people interested when you have a chance to play at Wembley. Uh, the, the player in question is named uh, Callum Hossier. He's, he's uh, number 14. You can see him there on the bottom of the screen. If you don't play active football, if you don't exercise, when you turn up to one of these games, usually your calf goes or your groin or oh, go back pass. Jesse here with a great opportunity. Can Marcus Stamp get back into the play? Oh. What a finish. That is unbelievable. Yeah, this is an early sign that they're going to get a 
it done. Jesse, oh. Oh. This is a dangerous, dangerous we opportunity. Know. From this position, he can score. That is a tasty treat for Robert Perez. Good defending. Oh. Like Lessing got it. It is halftime. I'll say Bonsu, uh, defensively for Rebel has been absolutely incredible so far. So good for Cal Freeze's men. 100%. I said it. Their body language looked like they meant business. Hey, cool down. Relax. We're going to make a few changes, all right? Lionel, you're going to slip into the back and play with uh, Will at centre back, all right? All they've got is their long ball. As soon as we deal with that second ball, we're fine. Now, as soon as we break, listen to me, look at me. Come straight, it's good. As soon as we break, we're looking for him over the top or the other boys as well. 15 more minutes about control the environment. We've got to press them here as well. These areas, high end these players are here, you've got to put them in a bit of pressure. They can't just have their head up and pin that one in the box. You've got to put them under a bit of pressure, boys, all right? Yeah, no fouls. They're going to be chasing it. No fouls. Wrap soft as well, so yeah, no, anything. just stand them up, relax. They're Green sheet is your priority now. Clean sheet. Clean sheet. Clean sheet. Remember, I'll keep pressing. Let's go, boys. Wait, let's go, boys. Come on. Come on. They're going to chase the game. Come on, boys. Kickoff for the second half is about to begin. Yes. Uh, what I really want to actually get into is the fact that hashtag crushed Rebel in the group stage is 3 0. Yeah, definitely a little more urgency here. Uh, unfortunate. Maybe a little bit too high off. Oh, Kalen does take some risks at times. job done let's enjoy that let's just settle down now all right it's about focusing for the next one the big one all right the next one's the final that was the easy bit that goal looks very very good yeah, yeah. Good job. Good job. 
Hold. No. Hook. Alright, you got collateral. Drive, 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 drive. I'll send that cap inside. Man, Dan. Oh, oh, oh. Get off. For us to take the take the title, so it's all about. It's what we're all planning. It's what we've been together for the last couple of years about. Right? Remember, focus. Don't do anything sloppy. Don't do anything silly. It's nice and easy. Try and keep the ball. Let them let them do the running. Remember, they win it high up. We're going to drop halfway line. Let them have it. Press halfway line together. Need to have shots. So one goal game wins this, isn't it? Yeah. One goal game wins. Get one goal it makes our life a lot easier. Yeah. Let's go. Are we ready? Take a look at the teams, the two finalists, Rebel FC versus F2 FC. Four teams, one trophy, 30 minutes. Sinbin looks like. How are we defining that? Yeah. I don't know what else warrants a yellow card. Everybody watching at home, that yeah. is a yellow card for me. That was a Sinbin if you've ever seen one. Go on. He went for it. Oh! I think he got to follow up all those shots. His goalkeepers. to go in this first half of the final Wembley Cup. Essien's up for it. Look at him. He wants the ball. Exactly. Uh, Essien, I think he's going to have an impact in this game for sure. Great work there to win it back. Now he's got to make that pass. Play it wide. Does he get the foul? No. Oh, ooh, what a save. What a shot. What a save. I think the referee did a good job of letting that go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's the halftime whistle. No corner kick. Else? Save. Let's boys, work hard, press hard. Listen. Last half. Get this. Boys, listen. 
sometimes you sometimes get your head up and it's gotta go. Alright, so Jesse, just turn the shoulder and at Sava as well. SV2, SV2's pace now. Every time, look up, diagonals into him. You've got to get higher up the pitch. Composure, let's settle down. Let's go, come on. Let's go, boys. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Everybody's fired up here for the second Great. half. Let's see if Rebel can fight back. I wonder, what, if you were the manager of Rebel, Mark, I'd, what, what kind of tactics would you be telling your team? I'd say, we've got to get at them. We've got to get at them. They played a game. You know, they're going to be tired if we press them back and have a go. Push people forward, get the fullbacks further forward and start taking some chances. Oh, oh, oh. Don't need to do that. One in the box. Oh, wow, take a touch. Oh, what a save. Oh, there's the difference. Unbelievable, what a save there. Two have done very well in this game in particular. Oh, Reed. Oh, Reed, you turned your you back turned on your it. Back. The confidence can slip away from you. The belief, self belief. Come on, can you create a chance? Here we go. Three and a half minutes, they're saying, of injury time. Oh, good play. Anybody in the box? Oh, that is cheeky. Oh. It goes to Rory. Oh. Referee, can we have a pen? Oh. Mixer. Oh, oh, he's got it. Reeve. Oh, an opportunity. Maybe, maybe another. No. Another shot for a pen. Oh, that is. Maybe not the time to try that, but I respect it. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Oh, come on, Amber. This is it. Get everybody up. Go on. Bring the goalkeeper out. That's what we want to see. Our first game back from Wembley Cup, um, and obviously that being probably the highlight of the year for Rebel. I don't expect anything to change in terms of people's commitment and things like that. I want to see the same energy on the pitch. If anything, going up to Wembley just shows us how good of a team we can be and, and how well we are when we play together. So I want to see very much the same sort of stuff tonight. We all need to be up for this. So. Let's go, boys. Come on. 